Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. And yes, today in this video, I'll be doing my round 20 tips and predictions of the NRL. And yes, 20 rounds in. We're 19 rounds in, but 20 rounds in into the 2023 season. And yes, before you get watch this video, if you have not seen my State of Origin Game 3 tips and predictions, go check that one out. I'll put it up here or here for you guys to go check out. Go do that. And let's get straight into it. So, round 20. We'll have a look at the ladder on where the season at so far. It's a very packed ladder right now. This season's much different. 17 teams. The top eight is honestly separated by like four points. It's so close. So, you've got Panthers on top, followed by the Broncos. Storm, uh, Sharks, Storm, Raiders are all tied on 26 points. Then you've got the Warriors at six, Eels at seven, Bunnies at eight, and Cowboys starting to come up at ninth. Seagulls, Titans, Dolphins, Roosters, Knights, Bulldogs, Dragons, and Tigers. So the bottom four you don't have to worry about. Dolphins slipping away a little bit at 12th. Not too happy there. But I thought the Dolphins, they were great to start the year. Shocking now. But Cowboys starting to make a little run. Bunnies slowly to get up there. Warriors surprisingly at 6. New Zealand Warriors are at 6 and it's round 20. Like pretty good. Sharks giving good lead there. Our boys Sharks tied for 3rd right now. Sitting 3rd. We've got to get some more wins. These tough games coming up are very tough, and we could easily slip out of the eight very quickly like that. But here we go. Round 20, Friday night. No game Thursday, of course, of Origin. So Friday night, 8 p.m., McDonald Jones Stadium in Newcastle. Knights be the Tigers. Now, I am going to go Newcastle. I'm going to tip Newcastle just because they're at home. Knights have been playing amazing recently, I think. The end, you got Dane Gagai easily. Yes, you're getting in Brett Naden, Appy Carousel, Dane Laura for the Tigers, but still, I think the way Newcastle played last week, if I think they won, I think something like that. If they won, I don't know how to buy, I think. Anyway, Newcastle easily going to win that one. Pretty big, I reckon. That's 8pm on Friday. Saturday games now. I think we've got three on Saturday. Yep. We've got the Bulldogs and Broncos at uh, Balmore Sports Ground in Sydney. Bulldogs had a pretty good chance, um, did beat the Bunnies last week, but Bunnies had like all their origin stars out. Broncos do get in though, Kirk Kate, well, Jordan Pereira, Jock Matten. But the Bulldogs also getting in, Josh Adokar, of course, but the Broncos are losing pain hearts. But the way of Broncos played, I think, two weeks against the Dolphins at the Gabba, that was a good game. Honestly, I watched that game, they did not have their fullback in Reese Walsh, and they still won that game against the... Dolphins and Selwyn Cobo has been amazing recently. So Adam Reynolds, Ezra Mam easily can't go past the Broncos. I reckon Broncos will win this one away in uh, in Bulldogs territory, and they're going to win that one easily. I reckon one to twelve for that one. Moving on, the five thirty game on Saturday: Seagulls Cowboys at four points part. And this is a hard one to tip. Very hard one to tip. I do not know who to go for because Seagulls are on a run recently. They're at home. The energy is going to be there. I really think the game I had last week, I think the Roosters or something was a good game. I reckon Seagulls to win this one, but that's going to be close. Because Cowboys need to start winning games. And the way they're playing with Val Holmes, Peter Hiku, Murray Tualungi, God, it's hard. It's hard to pick between this team. I really don't know which way it's going to go. I might eye myself to the Cowboys. I just don't know. I think... I just, oh, it's hard. The thing, all, I've tipped all the away teams so far. Oh, no, except for nines. Seagulls, Cowboys, where are they on the ladder? Ninth v. Tenth, so it's legit a close match. So it's really not defining who, like, it's a very close match. It's a must win for both teams. I'm, I'm just going to go for the home team. I'm going to go Seagulls to win that. Easily could be a golden point game. Very close game, I reckon. Seagulls to win that. Easily 1-12. to 12. And then next game, Sydney Cricket Ground, Roosters, Storm. This is a big one because Roosters have to start winning some games and Storm are going very well at the moment. And Storm, Munster, Jerome Hughes, all in again, George Jennings. It's tough. They do lose the Roosters, though, Jackson Paulo. But I think Munster, Jerome Hughes, Coates, Ollum, Smith, Meany, their four path, uh, Kamakamitha, Welsh, Nelson Thompson, and Josh King. You could keep, still name it. I think Victor Radley's going to get a sin bin. He's going to be out. He'll be out for suspension. He does it all the time. 
gonna go Storm. They're gonna go Storm. I reckon they'll bring them more energy as being that top four team, top three team. Easily Storm, it could be Roosters, but the way the Roosters played back in what, round 19? Did they play round 19? No, round 18. A shocking way to lose. They lost They lost 16-18 against Manly. So they have to start winning some games, but easily um, I'm going to go the Storm. Next game, Warriors-Sharks. Easily the Warriors. The War Sharks coming up have a few tough games on their hand. We'll go to the Sharks quickly. Sharks coming up. They have got a few games that they must win. They've got the Warriors away in New Zealand, in Auckland. So it's going to be tough. Worry, uh, Sharks easily for that game. Then they, next week they got Manly at home, okay. Then you got Panthers away, and then Bunnies away, and then Titans at home. You got Cowboys away, then Knights away, and then Raiders at home to finish. But you got some tough games. Bunnies away and Panthers away. They're the two tough games. Plus you got to say next this week here, Warriors as well. But that's going to be tough for the Sharks. Um, to win. I reckon they do it. They got Nico Hines. The Sharks lineup is very good at the moment. We have no injuries really. Kennedy, M M Moylan, Nico Hines, Molotalo, for Brake Blaley, Tony Rudolph, uh, Wilton, McInnes, Nakora, Wade Graham off the bench, Tom Hazleton. Like this bench is uh, f uh, packed in the back line, I think, for the Sharks is very strong. Yes, New Zealand playing at home. Their fans are going to always be there. But they did lose last week or two weeks ago against the Bunnies in Auckland. So I do think I'm going to go Sharks no matter what. It will be a tough one, though. You've got Sean Johnson playing amazing. Luke Metcalf going okay. You've got Dalwood Hesley you know, Charles Nickel Clock start going well. But that's what I've got. Sharks easily 1-12. to It will be a very close match, I reckon. Then Dolphins, Panthers at Redcliffe. Now, they're playing at Redcliffe. Dolphins have to bounce back. You got you bring your hammer. You bring your hammer back in. Got hammer wise, Tabio Fido. You got um, Malise Kafusi back in as well. So that's a big in for the Dolphins. Plus Brett Coley. You got coming over Panthers time, who are bringing in Nathan Cleary, but he'll be coming off the reserve list because he's just legit come off a hamstring injury. Todd Smith as your referee, so he'll give a lot of penalties. I think towards Dolphins. But I am going to go boy Harrison Graham, family man there, very close with him. I'm going to go Dolphins easily. I reckon them at home. Panthers have a chance. It's tough. I'm, I've, got, I've got to go. I'm going to lock in Dolphins. I think Dolphins to win that very close. It's hard to pick, but I reckon Dolphins will have to bounce back after that Broncos loss. And then last game, Eels-Titans. This is on Sunday. The three games on Sunday. Sunday, 6.15pm. Combat exam in Sydney. Eels, absolutely, no matter what. Gutherson, Sivo. Mitch Moses is playing. You've got, um, of course, you've got Dylan Brown still out for some time. Sean Russell, Bailey Simons, and Will Panasini. Campbell Gillard, Junior Polo. Pretty easy there. And that is it. Titans had a good win. Oh, no, they did lose, sorry, against Dolphins last week. And they're like a golden point thriller. But that's it. There it is, there's my tips, and three buys for the Bunnies, Raiders, and Dragons there. Tips are Knights, Broncos, Manly, Storm, Sharks, Dolphins, still eyeing that, but right now I'm going to go Dolphins, and then Eels. There it is, round 20 tips and predictions. We legit over halfway, got seven rounds to go, this is where teams have to start winning some games. So the next tip video I do will probably be maybe round 25 something like that or even round 27 so just stay tuned and you guys will see but there it is thanks for watching that's me done stay tuned enjoy state of orange tonight whenever you're watching it or if you've already watched origin up the queens and maroons that's it stay tuned for little limited videos of course it'll mainly be youtube shorts and community posts but that's it thanks for watching like and subscribe and until next time enjoy life and have fun see ya